Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another episode. Dave Rodriguez here, one of the head traders inside the Alliance community. Quick shout out to everyone watching the video today. Definitely appreciate the support. Just want to make sure you guys mash that subscribe button at the end if you find some value. Uh, all you newbies out there, it's been a while since we've been on here. I uh, took a little break. Everybody needs it. Um, all the newbie viewers and, and anybody that's been on this show before, uh, stay to the end, guys, because we'll be revealing our free ebook, The Cryptocurrency Consumer Guide, that has all our best kept secrets and strategies, tons of facts, and key things that you'll need in order to make it in this market. So don't waste any more time um, messing around anywhere else, guys. Just hop on in here with us every day. We'll jump right into the Bitcoin breakdown. As you can see, the last time we spoke, we predicted this move here up to the 4700 level and I can't really see there oh didn't quite get up to it so we got to the 4500 level before she turned right back around and went completely bearish as you can see here it's very easy to see what's going on we broke this 30 uh, 700 roughly level we found um, very nice resistance here was support this was support now becomes resistance we've had one two, three, now four days, was unable to get in. We see the motion back the other way. Um, when we were up here, guys, you know, in this area, once we broke through this 5,700, once we broke through this area here, down in here, there was nothing stopping us going to 3,000. I've had this marked for weeks. Um, we've talked about it many, many times that 3,000 is the next, the next logical support. I mean, if you look, you have a big wick here. Big rejection here, big rejection here, then the breakthrough here. So nice logical support. So 3,000 is going to be met. I can see it happening with this candle, or we could just see a little rally all the way down. If we break 3,000, we're looking at 1,800, maybe 2,000. I don't really see that happening. I mean, it's what I see happening here, guys, is pretty typical. I think the uh, higher ups, you know, the, the the whales are, you know, manipulating this price down as far as they can. Um, the institutions, everybody that's got billions and billions of dollars are doing what they can do to drop this thing. And they're going to buy really low, and this thing's going to skyrocket just like it did last November. Um, don't know when that's going to happen. Don't know what's going to happen. We can see this go sideways for a while, but uh, my next prediction is this 3K area being met, so look out for that. A couple things to talk about. A lot of places to buy Bitcoin, guys, and if you didn't know, um, I use I use uh, Square Cash. It's called Square, but I use it's a, it's a cash app. I use it just about every single day. Everybody I know uses it. Um, months ago, they decided they wanted to integrate Bitcoin, um, not as a cash generating cow, um, but just to get used to the technology and have it available uh, and have more people go to their site to use that and as well use their cash app. Their cash app is their cash cow. Um, but they're looking at people using this platform and it's just one form of um of another service for them to use but the, the whole point of this conversation is um, if you guys didn't know Twitter CEO you know he owns Square and um, it's now become the number one place to buy Bitcoin uh, it's taken over hold on one sec take, it's taken over um, Coinbase Coinbase has always been the number one place to buy Bitcoin the most available place the easiest place to buy Bitcoin but now um, for those of you who are using Cash App, you now have the ability to buy Coinbase without logging into uh, to buy Bitcoin without having to log into Coinbase and figure out the whole crypto thing. It's right there on an app you already use every single day. Uh, those of you who don't know what Square Cash is, it's like Venmo. Um, you know, if you know what Venmo is, uh, it's just a way to send money without using banks. As you guys know, millennials uh, in this day and age are are veering away from using banks and institutions. They're figuring out ways to do things on their own without relying on the need of other um, big companies. So I thought that was really interesting. Another thing I thought was interesting is, is all the rumors about, you know, all the little uh, tokens and coins that are going to be added to um, Coinbase. No, normally, when they do specific ones, they get a bit of a boost, especially ones like XRP. So it says Coinbase list to X, list XRP soon. But if you look at the result of this article, once you see articles like this, there's normally a big result afterwards. And as you can see, um, when I looked earlier, let me, let me look again now. It's nothing. You know, continues the bearish market. Continues to fall outside this pennant. Um, no retest of any kind. Uh, we saw the level pass here. You know, pass there. 
we passed here. Oh no, we've retested here. So right now we're sitting on this support here. You know, can we hold here? It doesn't look like it wants to stop. It looks like it wants to keep going, especially after some bullish news is one thing that I thought was kind of crazy. So, um, you know, maybe it's not having the effect that it was earlier. You know, anytime anybody mentioned Coinbase and a, and a possible listing, we got a 20, 30% boost. We're not getting anything. The whole market's bearish. We saw a dead cat bounce um, in Bitcoin um, yesterday, or not, maybe not yesterday, um, here. A couple days ago, we saw this dead cat bounce, bounce back up, couldn't hold it, trading below 36.50, um, and I believe it's going to keep trading that way. Look for 3,000 next, guys. That's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Um, we are going to be back tomorrow for another episode, and we're going to try to do it um, you know, every day or every other day uh, in these conditions. Um, every day is not a trading day, guys. If you're not trading, try to learn. Learn something. Uh, watch videos. Watch YouTube. Watch the rest of our videos and see what you guys come up with. But... I'll talk to you guys real soon. Those of you who are brand new, make sure you click that link below in the description. Um, it's the BitcoinConsumerGuide.com forward slash YT. That's like YouTube. And you click that link, you'll get all the tips, tricks, and secrets that we use here inside the Alliance. Also, a bunch of information brought to you by Cody Sperber himself, the guy who brought us this wonderful course. So take advantage of that, guys, and I'll see you guys tomorrow on the next Bitcoin Breakdown.